Hello guys, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we cross-examined Morgan Fay, and we didn't get too much other than the setup for Eni's testimony, which we heard last time, and now we're getting ready to cross-examine. So, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and just hop right into this. When channeling started, I was sleeping in the side room. Was that because of your, um, sesame allergy, was it? Like, that's right. I, like, think there were sesame seeds, like, in the lunch they served that day. I had this, like, premonition that it was going to be totally- There was going to totally be a seedy day. Yes, indeed. Hmm. I see. Am I the only one who missed the boat here? Anyway, so you were taking a nap. Did something happen while you were sleeping? Like, a little later, someone came to the room, like, really suddenly. Do you know the time? Um, uh, like, maybe a little before 11 a.m.? Something like that, I think? 11 a.m.? Yeah, like, my stomach is totally ready for, like, food. Uh, no, I, I think you misunderstood me. I'm not asking what time it is now. I meant what time it was when that someone came into your room. Oh, so like, that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more, like, clear about it. S sorry. My bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really... That's it? Why'd you stop mid-sentence? Did I? So like... What was I talking about again? Never mind. Fitness, about this person who entered the, the side room. It was like, oh my god, totally my sister. Oh my god. Are you absolutely sure? I guess. You guess? Was it or was it not your sister who entered the room? Like... I don't know. I mean, like, I totally don't know your sister at all, Mr. Smith. First off, my name is not Mr. Smith. Second, I'm an only child. <sighs> but more important than that, she's managed to mess up the question with her answer. Well, Mr. Wright, the defense rests. Well, that was a colossal waste of our time. Now then, witness, how did you feel when you saw Miss Mimi Miney? So here's a statement you'll need to press. I hadn't seen her in so long, I was so happy in a sad way. You were happy in a sad way? Yeah, like, I mean, it was my sister. But wouldn't most people react here with surprise at seeing a dead loved one again? Um, but, like, maybe if I was, like, someone who didn't know, like, about, like, the occult, but I, like, know all about the Kurine channeling technique. The point here is the witness immediately recognized that it was her sister. Yeah, like, what she said. Hmm, should I drop this line of questioning? Rule number one, always press harder, or question further in this case. So you really didn't think anything strange of the whole encounter? No. Like, there wasn't any reason for me to, like, think anything was strange. But... OW! Don't keep badgering her. You know the phrase, uh, rephrase, objection? Could you try using that once in a while? Hmm, Mr. Wright. This question of what the witness felt when she saw her sister. Is it really that important? It is very important. It is very important! Though I haven't quite figured out what it is yet. But I've got to bluff for now and make it seem like I know what I'm talking about. Alright, Mr. Wright. Miss Miney, please amend your testimony. Like, okay, I'm like totally cool with that. And so we get a new statement. Uh, I wasn't like scared at all, and like her costume looked totally like normal. It's totally not suspicious, but we'll get back to that in a sec. So there was nothing odd at all about your sister's appearance. 
Like, yeah, nothing was, like, weird. Hmm. Huh? Mia's talking to herself like she's found something wrong. That's impossible. Hmm? Like, is everything okay? Can I, like, go on? That was a really interesting effect, how they used, like, Phoenix's text box to make it look like Mia was talking to herself, and Mia's, like, text box popped up for just a quick second. So, very interesting effect. My sister, she, like, told me something, like, totally terrible. Something terrible? What was this thing she told you? Huh? Like, didn't I just, like, tell you about it? Did you, like, forget already? A foolish fool with a foolish sieve for a brain only speaks foolishly with foolish words. Well, excuse me, princess. Hey, that's a great reference. Uh, that's, of course, a reference to the uh, 80s Zelda cartoon. Uh, funnily enough, 999 also made a reference to the 80s cartoon. I believe that was in, like, the kitchen or something like that. So, yeah, almost right back to back, we... I've played two DS visual novels that both make references to the 80s Zelda cartoon, which is a very niche category. Uh, so I think if you say ask to hear it again, it'll play the whole cutscene. I did just hear this story. It's not like my memory is that bad. Actually, the defense is fine and does not need to hear the story again. Very well, you may continue your testimony, Miss Miney. I'll flash up on screen if there's anything interesting if you say hear it again, but I don't think there is. I know there has to be something here I can use, but where? She really put a lot of thought into this lie, didn't she? We can't rush this. Let's take it slowly, one step at a time. She's bound to slip up somewhere. Don't give up, but don't get careless, okay? Remember, calm and collected. Alright, so the solution for this is to first, like I mentioned before, press this, or, uh, press the statement where she's like, I was so happy in, like, a sad way, and then she'll have this new statement where she says her costume looked totally normal. However, if you'll remember, there we go, this is what she looked like at the time. And I wouldn't necessarily, unless you're really weird, I wouldn't call having a costume with blood all over it normal. Objection. That was a very well-spun lie, Miss Eenie. What are you babbling about this time, Mr. Phoenix Wright? It's well-constructed. But that's all it is. Stealing my lines now, are we, Phoenix? Miss Miney! May I remind you of what you said? You said that there was nothing strange about your sister's appearance. Like, yeah, and? But I don't really think you thought that at all. Take a look at this picture. This is a picture of the sister you met. I would think that even you would be surprised if someone like this appeared before you. The blood spray. Miss Miney. Why did you not include the blood you saw in your testimony? If you were really testifying and not lying, you would have noted it right off the bat. Um... Order, order, order. Miss Miney, what is the meaning of this? Miss Miney? I'm digging! Don't interrupt me! Um, that E? And what are you stammering about, your honor? Um, uh, well, I... I, uh, that witness, her personality, did, her personality did a complete 180 there. Lots of people do that when they get on the stand, though. First of all, calm yourself down, witness. Like, I'm sorry, I, like, didn't mean to snap. Now, hurry up with the testimony. I, if you please. Ugh, the judge still looks a little shaken up. A lot of help he's gonna be. Like, the side room was, like, kinda dark, you know? So, like, the costume is, like, purple, right? The blood totally blended right in. 
And I, like, persuaded my sister it wasn't, like, right to do something like that. And then, like, I took my sister to the channeling chamber. Hmm. Yes, now I see. And you've given us a clear reason for why you didn't notice the blood. You think? Like, thanks, Gramps. Are you satisfied, Mr. Wright? All right, I guess not. Very well. You may question the witness. All right. As usual, we have to do a bit of pressing, so I'll let you know when we have to press important statements. Really? Because I thought it was pretty bright inside that room. Don't push your subjective opinions onto this court. Like, that's right. Um, excuse me, but how's my statement any more subjective than Miss Miney's? You are such a hopeless cause, Witness. Co You're such a hopeless cause. Witness, you may feel free to ignore this trite little man. Like, okay. Ugh, can't breathe. Let me out of here. So, like... The costume is, like, purple, right? The blood totally blended right in. You... didn't see the blood? Like, yeah. But she must have had the gun with her at the time as well. That's, um... Are you going to tell me next that you didn't notice the gun either? I, like, totally didn't. All I was looking at was, like, her face. Hmm. Continue. Alright, here's one we need to press. Uh, and I, like, persuaded my sister it wasn't, like, right to do something like that. And what was your sister, Miss Mimi Miney, like at the time? Well, she was, like, totally flipped out because she just shot Dr. Gray. But I think, like, she knew. She, like, said she did something really bad. And, like, she said she wanted to go with me to, like, apologize to Miss Morgan. Did Mimi Spirit really say all that to you? Like, yeah. And then, like, I took my sister to the channeling chamber. Oh. Whoopsie daisies. Can't find anything wrong. Phoenix, the judge believes this testimony. If we don't find something, so some sort of hitch in her statement, he'll end the trial. I know. We have to give it another shot. It doesn't matter how many times we listen, we can't give up. Uh, I accidentally made a mistake there. You're supposed to also press the final statement here, and then... To and then, like, I took my sister to the channeling chamber? Was your sister calm by that time? Like, I guess so. I guess maybe, like, taking a revenge on Dr. Gray, like, made her feel a lot better. I'd like to feel a lot better too, Mr. Phoenix Wright. The sooner the better. She says with her whip at the ready. And, like, Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? May I ask you one more thing, Miss Miney? Like, sure. Was there anything you found strange, unusual, or just out of place? Something out of place? Huh? Like, when do you mean? Uh, when? Um, when you... were going to the crime scene. I'm talking about when you were going to the channeling chamber, of course. Um, like, no, nothing strange. She answered rather quickly. Now what? Rule number one, always press harder. Think harder. I know you can remember something. I, like, totally can't. That's not good enough. You have to explain yourself clearly to this court. Hmm. Do you think, Mr. Wright, that whether or not there was something odd on the way to the channeling chamber is all that important? It's very important. I ask because it is very important. Not that I know where I'm going with this. Very well. Miss Miney, if you will, please include a statement about this in your testimony. Like, I don't get why, but okay. I, like, didn't see anyone on the way to, like, the channeling chamber. 
We know that's false, but let's press it first, just for the sake of getting dialogue. Try to remember that time. Oh, like, I remember. I remember it like I totally didn't see anyone on the way. Hmm, guess this really is a dead end. Something, something you finally pull out of a witness is never a dead end, Phoenix. No good. Can't find anything wrong. Then we continue to skip. So, the solution is to press statements 3 and 4, and then she says that uh, she never saw anyone in the channeling chamber at all. Uh, or on the way to the channeling chamber, rather. But we know for a fact that slightly after the murder, Pearl Fay was in the winding way, fixing up the urn that she had broken. You say that you didn't see anyone on the way to the channeling chamber. However, that is impossible. Like, what do you mean? I'd like to introduce someone to you. This is Morgan Fay's daughter, Pearl Fay. Interesting. You have a semi-intelligent look on your face. So, what about this child? It just so happens that at the time of the murder, Pearl was playing in the center garden. The garden? Yep, which means anyone walking through the area would have to have seen her. So, Miss Miney, what do you have to say to that? Ah! As the court can see, she's a bit of an airhead. Also, she was leading her sister at the time. Do you honestly think she would have noticed a simple child playing? Preposterous! It's not preposterous, and I can prove it. What sort of foolish? There is no way some. There's no way someone walking along the winding way could not have noticed Pearl, because as mentioned previously, she's putting together the urn. This urn is my proof. An old cracked clay pot. What is that going to prove? Do you know why it's cracked? It's because Pearl broke it. That's why. She broke the urn. Yow. Why? Why do I feel like you're about to ruin my beautiful day? This urn was broken around the time the channeling started. Ah! And Pearl was the one who put it back together. While sitting right in the middle of the winding way. Wh what Miss Miney. Pearl was there, in the winding way at the time. She was hard at work, putting the pieces of the urn back together, you see. If you couldn't see that while you were walking, I'd have to declare you legally blind. G- Ah! I think I have sufficiently proven one thing, Miss Miney. You are a masterful liar! Ah! Mr. Wright, you need to watch what you say. The one who needs to watch what she's saying is the witness. So, Miss Miney, tell us the truth. Uh, about what? About what? About where you really were at the time of the murder, of course. The witness just testified about that. Th that's right. I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Can I really believe her? Was she really sleeping in the side room? There's no way. Your lies end here. What do you... The witness says that during the actual murder, she was asleep in the side room. And I say that's not possible, because there's clearly a contradiction here. A contradiction? Where is this contradiction? It's in her testimony just now. Earlier in your testimony, Miss Miney, you made the following statement. And, like, Miss Morgan was the one, only one in the channeling chamber, you know? It's true that at the time, both myself and Miss Hart were not there. We'd gone to call the police. So? Like, what does that, that, like, have to do in, with anything? It's very simple. Miss Miney, how did you know that fact? Uh, how? I can see that Miss Faye was the only person in the channeling chamber. However, someone who was asleep in the side room could not have known that. Which means, Miss Mighty, you did in fact go to the channeling chamber. 
However, you didn't go there by the way of the winding way. Gah! But, look at the manor guide map. If one were to go between the side room and the channeling chamber, one would have to use the winding way. Yes, that's right, Your Honor. Which is why... Which is why I ask this very important question. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Um, uh... Miss Miney, please answer the question. Don't ask your question off a baseless assumption, if you please. Well, I suppose since you've put it out on the table, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You might as well answer the question for us. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Now's your chance, Phoenix. Yeah. The only person who could have killed Dr. Gray was Eeny Miney. So now is the time to prove it. Now then, Mr. Wright. Let's hear your answer. Where was the witness when the murder took place? Only place she could have been was inside the channeling chamber. <laughs> Miss Miney was here, of course. Wah, but, but that's the channeling chamber. Isn't that the crime scene? That's right. Miss Miney was in the scene of the crime. Order, order, order! That's... why well, that's... Ah! Mr. Phoenix Wright, have you lost your mind? Yesterday's testimony established that only the victim and the defendant were in the channeling chamber when the channeling started. Yes, yes, that is correct. Please explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Simple. Miss Eeny Miney was hiding at the scene of the crime. I... I was hiding? Where? Like, where was I hiding? Around here. Here, of course. B behind the folding screen. Ah! Don't make me say this again. Recall yesterday's testimony. There ain't no way anyone's hanging out behind the folding screen. See? You stupid jerk! Quit being so quick to pin it on me, slime ball! Now, now, Miss Miney. One so young as you shouldn't be saying. Shut it, Gramps! As if you know exactly all how old I am. I'm sorry. Looks like the pipe's about to burst. Guess I should help it along. The witness was hiding behind the folding screen. With the help of this! <laughs> Miss Miney. How you were able to hide the scene of the crime is very simple. You were hiding inside this box. Ah, th That little box? No person could fit in that. Sorry, but your theory has already been disproven. Lotta disproved you when she was hiding from me in it. Um... But that clothing box was in the side room, right? Which means it has nothing to do with the murder at all. That's right. I was sleeping there, so I should know. That clothing box was there in the side room the whole time. Hmm, Mr. Wright. Do you think you can prove where the clothing box was at the time of the crime? Yes, I can with some evidence. And now, I present the piece of evidence that will prove this clothing box was at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Take a look at this clothing box. You're so stupid. As if there's any sort of evidence in that old thing. This. What on earth? Mmm. I don't have time for you to sit there surprised. Hurry up and say it already. There's a hole, about eight, eight inches off the ground. Hmm, a hole about eight inches off the ground. Where have we heard that before? The folding screen. It had a hole at the same height. That's right. I hope this has opened your eyes to what happened. At the time of the shooting, the clothing box was sitting behind the folding screen. Which is why the bullet from the pistol hit both the box and the folding screen. It went through the screen and into the box. <sighs> Miss Miney, you were hiding behind the folding screen waiting for your chance. Yes, for your chance to kill Dr. Gray. Ah! Order, order. So what you are saying... 
Then, Mr. Phoenix Wright, what about this picture? Are you saying that the person in this photo is Miss Eeny Miney? That is exactly what I am saying. Miss Eeny Miney, you were hiding inside this clothing box all along. And you wore Medium's costume to masquerade as Maya Fey. T to masquerade as Maya Fey. She had it planned from the very beginning. She would kill Dr. Gray and pin the blame on my client. N no! Stop! I can't stand to listen to an any more of this foolishness. If that's the case, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then I have a proposition. The whole idea is that the witness moves the clothing box to the crime scene, pretended to be the, the defendant, kills the victim, and then fled to the scene of the crime. It's not possible for one person to do all that by herself. Correct, it's not possible. It really is impossible. For one person to do all the preparations, that is. Ah! Need that to remind you? The foolish receive no mercy. W wait! Miss Von Karma, you said it was not possible for one person, correct? V you can't be serious! <laughs> Miss Miney, you had an accomplice! Ugh, this person! If it wasn't someone from Kurine Village, you couldn't have gotten the costume. If it wasn't someone from the Fey household, you wouldn't have that box to use. Morgan, Fey, isn't that the wonderful lady witness we had earlier? What do you have to say to this, Miss Miney? Ugh, ugh. You shot Dr. Gray with your own two hands. Do you deny it? I think this is what really happened. The murderer had planted herself at the scene of the crime long beforehand. And dressed in a medium's costume and wearing a wig, she pretended to be the defendant. And then, the channeling started. And the murderer crept silently towards the other two, both of whom had their eyes closed. First, she drugged Maya Fey with a strong sleeping agent. Then, she stabbed Dr. Gray with the knife. Next, she hid my client inside the clothing box. She did that so she could take Mai's place and frame her for the crime. But, that's when something unexpected happened. Unexpected? Yes. Dr. Gray was not actually dead. With the last of his strength, he fired a shot at his attacker. And that is why the hole in the folding screen was so low to the ground. The murderer then took the gun from Dr. Gray and... After that, you and the other lady thought to break into the room? Yes, a gunshot is clearly something you wouldn't expect to hear. Which is why, upon hearing the shots, we forced our way into the channeling chamber. Miss Miney. She immediately covered her own costume with blood. And pretended to be Maya Fey. But that sort of deception would have been easy to see through. Which is precisely why Miss Morgan Fey chased us out. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. Hurry, before there are more victims here. Ugh. What is one supposed to say? This is the real truth behind this murder. <laughs> Who is that? Laughing at a time like this. Ah! Oh, you simple-minded fools. I'm sorry, are you still, by chance, evolving? What is it this time? Miss Von Karma? Surely. 
Of course it was me. Do you really think someone of the Von Karma blood would lose due to something this petty? What in the world? Mr. Phoenix Wright, your argument is flawed in one very crucial area. And that is? If this witness is the real murderer, why would you go through all this trouble? Huh? Working together with the medium, pretending to be one, putting on this whole act. What reason would she have to do such foolish things? Eh? Well, that's... Uh... Yeah, that's right, exactly what I was gonna say. Oh, and one other thing. Why would Miss Eeny Miney want to kill Dr. Gray? Where is her motive? Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to say too. Yeah, motive! I don't have a motive! Uh, motive. That's... Can't say she has no motive here. I have to think of a motive now. What is the reason for wanting Dr. Gray dead? The reason you wanted Dr. Gray dead is this. Ha! <laughs> Just as I thought. You bore me with your silly answers, Phoenix Wright. Just great. Now even she is calling me by my full name. You think I did this to get revenge for my sister's death? Yes. Because through that accident, you suffered a lot of hurt and pain yourself. Don't be stupid. No one has proof that Dr. Great drugged my sister, right? And you want to say I wanted to take revenge based on nothing? What do you mean by that? See now, stupid... See now, stupid gramps. I'm, like, going to explain, so, like, please listen, okay? It's been over half a year since I was discharged from the hospital. If I, like, wanted revenge, then, like, I wouldn't have waited this long. <clears throat> um, and besides that, the guy that thought of the spirit thing was, like, Dr. Gray. It was, like, a total coincidence that he asked me about it, you know? She... She's back to her head self. However, you see... Ouch! Pathetic, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You fail to support your own theory. The end. I think we have our answer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What Miss Miney has stated is very true. The revenge plan is overly complicated and she has no motive in the first place. Furthermore, there is no reason for Miss Morgan Fay to cooperate with this plan. You don't even have any truly decisive pieces of evidence to demonstrate your point. Disc, disc. So many faults, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You should really learn your place. No. What happened? I thought I had her for sure. <laughs> See, that's what I like told you. I'm going to serve you a slice of humble pie. Very well. Now conclude the cross-examination of Miss Eeny Miney. Hold it. Your Honor. Please allow the defense one more minute. Uh, Alright. You can't lose here. Have faith in yourself, Phoenix. Mia. Yes, it does sound like a ridiculously messed up plan for a murder. But you know, regardless, that girl trained for this crime. Really? Listen, Phoenix. Everything happens for a reason. There is a reason why she had to kill Dr. Gray. And it is also the reason why she had no choice but to kill him in this fashion. Time is up, Mr. Wright. Your final answer, please. If you want to say that you can prove Miss Miney had a motive, then... Why did she kill the victim this way? Can you provide the reason? Can I? Can I really do this? Yes, I can! I'm not totally confident here, but... I know that I must press on no matter what. That's right, Phoenix. Only you can do this now. I will show and substantiate the fact that Miss Miney had a motive. <laughs> too bad. You're too late. My cross-examination has already ended after all. Eee! Interesting. I'll let you have your chance, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Uh, what? Y you're supposed to be on my side. I. 
The Von Karma only cares about the perfect win. As long as you have the will to fight, I will knock you down, Mr. Phoenix Fright. And I don't care if you are my witness. So help me, I will blow you out of my way. No way! Very well. The court will take a five minute recess. We will continue the cross-examination after we reconvene. H hey, wait a second here. 